BJP party president Rajnath Singh has made it clear that anyone speaking about internal matters uh, to the media, disciplinary action would be taken against them. We have with us Nalin Kohli, the media convener of BJP. Uh, does this mean it's a gag order on BJP leaders? No, I think that would be a, really an overstatement, a gag order. That's not the issue, situation or the issue. Rajnath Singh Ji, as the president of the party, basically has said in his statement, first he's thanked our millions of voters in terms of the support that they've given us and the point that we've come out as an opposition party and we are expected to play the role of a responsive and responsible opposition. Now, what he has said is that that process has already begun and it's an exhaustive process be a detailed process that will culminate by August in a Chintan Baitak. In context of that, what he has said is that no leader or functionary of the party should go out and speak to the media or on any platform, anything that may be about the internal deliberations about the party or it may create a negative impression about the party. So in that sense, it's not a gag order. It is merely trying to put across that formally or informally information about the party's internal setup should not go out so that it creates a, which may create a negative impression about the party. Okay, let's start by asking you about Yashwan Sinha. He has uh, resigned and has given out a lot of things that he had issues with in the uh, with the party. Uh, what is well, here's the counter question. There, Mr. Yashwan Sinha's issue which has come out in the media as reports about him resigning. Nowhere has Yashwanji spoken to the media or sent out anything. The party president also in his press conference made it clear that he hadn't seen the letter as yet or had complete information about it. Based on what it is, the party president will take a view collectively with the rest of the party. Uh, so um, there is all a lot of critics now are saying that uh, BJP is trying to show a united front. This is this desperate attempt to show to the world that BJP is united and that's why all this is coming out, uh, this kind of an order to the leaders. No, I think it would need to be looked in a different way, Anusuya. Essentially, after the defeat of the party in the Lok Sabha elections, what we have not been had able to have a large meeting or anything yet because we went into parliament session and in parliament our leaders have also made clear about how the party would whether it's Admani ji, whether it is president of the party, whether it is uh, Arun Chetli ji, leader of opposition in the Rajya Sabha. Various leaders have spoken about it. Now why you ha we have not got a result up to our expectations would depend on a detailed analysis state by state. Now some people may have shared initial views and in that sharing of initial views may have been critical about certain aspects. Now the party is of the view that one needs to look at the conclusive thing and not share these inputs in between before final view comes so You are saying this is not a desperate attempt to keep the party together? No, I would not say because the party is together. After all, in what way are you saying that the party is disunited or it is breaking up or nothing like that? Essentially, this is merely because in the media there is an unnecessary debate that is taking place that the party seems to be not united or it's divided. So it's a message to send out that we are united. We are also talking about whatever we share about because after all every party will deal with the media but what you deal is the final outcome you would not like to place on record things that were deliberated or discussed among various leaders in an open forum as it is bound to be so that's the media convener for bjp making it clear that what rajnath singh has said does not mean it's a gag order on bjp leaders in new delhi anasya roy for ndtv